This is Marilyn Lohman, Service Hydrologist at WFO Pendleton. I will be reviewing the mountain snowpack that has accumulated over the last month and thus the water supply forecasts for the coming spring and summer. This map, produced by the Natural Resource Conservation Service, shows the percent of normal snow water equivalent or the amount of water being held in the snowpack for the various basins across the state of Washington. November was much drier than normal across most of the region. At the end of the month, there was only 55 to 65 percent of normal snowpack in the central and southern Washington Cascades, with the lower Snake Basin indicating near normal snow conditions. The higher values in the lower Snake Basin are somewhat deceiving, as it was mainly very high elevation locations near normal, but the lower elevation mountains had little to no snowpack. We will look at a few locations within the basins to see how the snowpack is accumulating. These charts show the snow water equivalent for the water year October through September. The blue line is the maximum observed, while the red line is the minimum, and the green line is the average. Using these charts, we can see how the snow water equivalent accumulates throughout the winter and spring and compare it to average. This site, the Tushi Snowtel, is in the Walla Walla Basin around 5,500 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that this site was running near normal through much of November. The Sassy Ridge Snowtel site is located in the upper Yakima Basin at 4,200 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that this site was showing near normal accumulations for the first part of November, but has fallen below normal by the end of the month. The Bumping Ridge Snowtail site is at elevation 4,600 feet in the central Washington Cascades. This area saw above normal snow during the first part of November, but has seen little accumulation during the last part of November and is below normal. Across the Oregon portion of the Pendleton forecast area, from the graphic dated November 30th, the snowpack was well below normal over the Cascades and through the John Day Basin. Conditions were slightly better in the Umatilla Basin with amounts near 75 percent of normal. The Grand Ronde Basin is showing slightly above normal conditions, but once again the graphic is deceiving as only the highest elevation sites are near normal, with the lower elevation sites reporting 50 to 60 percent of normal. We will take a look at some individual sites within the basin in the next several slides. In the Lower Deschutes, Columbia Basin area, Clear Lake Snowtel is at an elevation of 3,500 feet. Looking at the black line, the current year observation, this site has seen little snowpack throughout the month of November. In the Upper Deschutes Basin, Three Creek Meadows Snowtel site is at about 5,600 feet. We can look at the solid black line and note that the site had little accumulation during the month of November and is also well below normal. For the John Day Basin, we can use the Blue Mountain Springs Snowtel site at 5,900 feet. This location had near normal accumulations through November but remained slightly below normal. For the Umatilla Basin in the Blue Mountains, we can look at the High Ridge Snowtel site at 4,900 feet. Using the black line, we can see that there was some accumulation at the start of the month, but little additional accumulation has occurred throughout the rest of the month, and the site is well below normal. In the Grand Ronde Basin, the Moss Springs Snowtel site at 5,800 feet has been gaining snow throughout November and is near normal. The 
The Northwest River Forecast Center uses Ensemble Streamflow Prediction, or ESP-generated forecasts, as the official water supply method. This year, 30-year runoff normals covering years 1981 to 2010 are being used. For all of the published locations, the updated normals are less than the 1971 to 2000 data set. This is due to the relatively dry runoff period from 2001 to 2010. New ESP forecasts will be published on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website at a minimum of once per week, but may be updated daily at the discretion of the River Forecast Center. For updated forecasts and more information on ESP forecasts, please see the River Forecast Center's website at the address given. We will look at a few river forecast points across the region to determine water supply as of November 30th. For the Yakima River system, we will look at the Yakima River near Parker, and looking at the plot, the solid green line is the 30-year normal. The box plots show the entire range of forecast values, with the blue dot the 50th percentile, or most likely value. We will be using the 50th percentile in comparing it to normal. The volume forecast for the Yakima River near Parker is around 106% of normal, so slightly better than normal conditions are expected for the water supply period. The forecast volume of water, or the blue dot, for the Grand Ronde River near Troy is expected to be about 89% of average. The forecasts have trended down as below normal precipitation has occurred during the last couple of months. For the Umatilla River at Pendleton for the period April through September, the volume forecast is near 77% of normal. This low value is due to the below normal precipitation and snowpack seen so far this season. The Columbia River at the Dalles can be an indicator for the entire Columbia River Basin. Once again, we see the average plotted in green, with the most likely value the blue dot. The volume for the April through September period is near 95% of normal. The previous seen plots and additional water supply locations are available in an interactive form on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website at the address listed on the concluding slide. The three-month outlook from the Climate Prediction Center for December, January, and February shows equal chances of above or below normal temperatures as well as equal chances of above or below normal precipitation. Once again, additional water supply forecasts and the interactive forecasts can be found at the Northwest River Forecast Center's webpage at the address listed. Please join me again in early January to see how the snowpack is progressing and for updated water supply forecasts. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or by the phone number listed here. Thank you.